what am I looking for when I'm looking for Super 6? Sit up straight, hands in your lap, active listening, eyes on the learning, speaking at the right time, brain switch on. Beautiful. Okay, today in English we are looking at comparing and contrasting. What are we looking at? Comparing and contrasting. Beautiful. With a partner, grab your whiteboard. You are going to create a Venn diagram looking at the similarities and differences between cat and dog. Off you go. Write down as much as you can. If you need to be talking, you are whispering. Sebastian having a great chat about it. You can have a chat if you need to. If you're stuck for ideas, use your partner. What do they look like? What colour are they? Where do they live? What do they enjoy to do? I'll give you another 30 seconds, writing down as much as you can. Contrasting word. Okay, although 
The movie depicted Fingerbone Bill as a young Indigenous man, okay, because I've got that from here. The book described him as a wiry, wizened old man with a jolly black face as screwed up and wrinkled as an old boot. You can see that I've used although I have used my contrasting word. My second one. Read me my second one. In the movie, Hardaway Tom and Fingerbone Bill have only recently been introduced. Whereas in the book, their characters are described as old friends. Well done. Once again, I have looked in both of my differences, okay? And I have used my contrasting word, whereas, to look at the differences between them. Okay, for a we do. Okay, what are our comparison words again? Similar, similarly, in, in the same, same way, way, equally, to, likewise. Contrasting words? Although, however, whereas, on the other hand, in, in contrast to, while, on the contrary. Well done. Okay, I saw some great responses on your whiteboards. Okay, I have written two sentences. They are missing a word. Read it to me, just put in blank in there. A dog oh, is a canine blank. A cat is a feline. What do you think? What sort of a word do you think we're going to put in there? Have a chat with your partner. Um, I would say. Uh, uh, I would say. Uh, I would say. 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 I would a difference. So what words are we going to use? Comparison or contrasting altogether? Contrasting. Well, what word would fit? Needs to make sense in the sentence. Read it in your head, plotting in that sentence. Tell your partner that sentence. Alright, stop. Collaborate and listen. Hands can come off your head. What did you share, Phoenix? Um, a dog is a canine, whereas a cat is a feline. Does that work? Yes. 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 What did you have? However, a cat is a feline. Does that make sense? Yes. 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 Well done. Anyone have anything different? Harley? A dog is a canine, although a cat is a feline. Yeah. Yeah. We might, we might change it though. We say, although a dog is a canine, a cat is a feline. But yes, we definitely could use the word although. Fantastic. Yes, Destiny. Um, Um, a dog is a canine, on the contrary, a cat is a female. Perfect. Do all of those make sense? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, the next one. Read it to me, putting in blank in here. Dogs can often be found snuggle up to their owners. Blank. Cats enjoy going up to the door and sleeping in their owners' beds. What do you think we're looking at here? Similarity or a difference? Cody. Difference. A difference? What do you think we're looking for? Uh, a similarity. A similarity? What do you think? A similarity. A similarity? Hands are up if you think a difference. Similarity. <laughs> Hands up for a similarity. Okay. I do see where you're coming from with a difference, okay? But are they both snuggling up or snuggling near or sleeping with owners? Yes. Yeah. So do you think we might be looking at a similarity? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so what words are we going to use? Contrasting or comparison? Comparison. Comparison. Well done. In your head, put a word in here that makes sense. Tell your partner. Uh, in the same way. Alright, stop. Hands up, hands off your head. What did you have? Perfect. Dogs can often be found snuggled up to their owners similarly. 
Captain Joy curling up into a ball and sleeping in that room. Really well done. Dogs can often be found snuggled up to their owners. Cats enjoy curling up into a ball and sleeping in their owners' beds too. Yeah, well done. Perfect. Really well done. I love that you've rearranged that sentence. Can I do a comparison that's not up there? That is what these lines are for. You preempted my move, have a chat with a partner, come up with a sentence. Okay, you've got them all on your Venn diagram. Find the similarity, find the difference. <laughs> Beautiful, the front table, they've already swapped, they're already reading. 
Just switch it. Guys, as long as you don't have your own book, it's fine. Then you are going, with your pencil, to write them some feedback. Okay? Tell them what they did really, really well. Maybe if they forgot to put a capital letter at the start of their sentence, maybe just remind them that. Okay, make sure you're focusing on what they've done well. Beautiful, Rachelle, Sahara, Ava are done. Harley Donald is done. Beautiful, Brock is done.